Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad to welcome you to the second episode of Oasis Community Calls. As always, I'm your host, Mikna, Community Lead at the Oasis Network, and I have two very special guests lined up for today. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our two brilliant guests. Uh, first up, we have Shay, co-founder at MetaMirror, and I just like to say that her work in decentralized identity and the Oasis NFT ecosystem is truly groundbreaking. And uh, our second guest is none other than Harry Roberts. Uh, I'm sure most of you know him from our channels. Uh, Harry is our brilliant technical product manager for Sapphire and OPO. And I, I think I can speak for the rest of our team that uh, we're truly lucky to have you on our team. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad to have both of you with us today. Yeah, they're glad to be here. Likewise, Minia. I'm happy to be here. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to start with the, the most asked question. And this is uh, for you, Shay. I, I know our community is mm -hmm. dying more about uh, the latest updates regarding your project. Uh, could you loop us into the latest happenings with MetaMirror? Yeah. Uh, so first off, I'm super glad to be here joining this Discord voice community call. And I'd love to share some updates about MetaMirror and our recent plans. So as many of you know, we've been heavily involved in building on uh, the Oasis ecosystem in terms of NFT as well as de decentralized identity. Uh, so those most of these development has been primarily centered around Emerald and uh, Parcel Paradigm. Uh, however, our focus is now uh, gradually shifting towards the Sapphire Paradigm. And with this transition, we're going through a lot of restructuring in terms of product and the project itself. Um, so uh, I will say that uh, to achieve this, we recognize that there are a lot of work to be done in terms of uh, both development and the research to refine our go-to-market approach. So, uh, so in the recent future, we'll be entering a more quiet development phase to prepare for this exciting change. And this period will allow us to take a deep dive into exploring the new opportunities, the new possibilities, and the new solutions and fine tune our go-to-market strategies uh, uh, for the product on Sapphire. So during this phase, we encourage all of you to stay engaged and involved. Uh, your feedback is very valuable to us and it is what drives us forward. We really appreciate our contributions and we believe that this uh, restructuring project will unlock a lot of the new exciting opportunities and the collaborations uh, for our community. Well, thank you so much for this. Like, uh, I'm sure everyone appreciates uh, uh, you joining us and speaking about this. And it's it's very exciting to hear. And honestly, I can't wait to hear more about this in the future. Um, now, on a side note, <laughs> I would since I have you here, I, I would like to pick your brain a little. Um, and this is because decentralized identity <clears throat> uh, is one of the most obvious use cases for Sapphire. And uh, since you have so much background on, on the subject, like how, how do you envision the, the ideal DID project that could be enabled by Sapphire? Uh, for sure. So uh, I personally envision that uh, the ID will be a decentralized way to extract the utility from uh, people's personal data. So in the current uh, uh, industry, the personal data generates over 18,000 billion, 1800 billion market a year. And uh, as we see that uh, the privacy, due to privacy concerns and all the legislation, this centralized data access is gradually closing up. So the ultimate goal that we have for decentralized, decentralized identity is to uh, have a decentralized way to utilize personal data for general purpose. But there are, like, of course, lots of different ways that we can approach this, the different ways that we can extract the value from data. So as a startup project, uh, we really need to focus on efforts on one or a few applications that uh, truly achieves the best result. And in particular, to my opinion, this application needs to provide the fastest time to market. It needs to tailor to the demand that we have today uh, in the blockchain community. 
Uh, it also needs to kind of like uh, uh, depend on this uh, unique advantage that we have that's enabled by Sapphire and is unable to be achieved by like uh, the infrastructure from other network. So uh, this is the criteria that I'm looking for and uh, running through after running through this funnel, uh, I think that uh, uh, a few very strong applications stand out uh, and uh, uh, like uh, one of the most strongest application that I personally think is the uh, decentralized uh, is the ident real identity bounded credit scoring use case for DeFi. So I personally think that this is a very promising direction to pursue. And after talking to uh, a lot of the target targeted customers, uh, we receive a very positive feedback and a strong demand from the lending protocols, the NFT buy now pay later platforms. Uh, as well as the GameFi project uh, who has in-game lending features. Uh, but however, we're still doing more research on the direction that we want to take. This is truly fascinating. I was actually reading uh, uh, a book uh, earlier, like the, the Truth Machine, and uh, they were talking about basically the same things, that, like decentralized identity is a, is a huge application for, for blockchain technology. And I think these are all perfect examples of why we all fell in love with Web3 and uh, the opportunities. And uh, there are so many fields that need blockchain technology and your passion and dedication to building is truly an inspiration to all of us. Uh, but yeah, I, I know for a fact that this has been a long waited moment uh, for our community. I, I'm glad we had the opportunity to shed some light on, uh, on this certain subjects. Uh, I, I think it's very important to, to acknowledge the fact that changes and uh, transitions take time. And mm -hmm. since the Web3 space is such a rapid and evolving environment, it's essential to take the time needed uh, uh, for developing and uh, delivering what's best for our community. Um, yeah, and since I'm on the subject about our community <laughs> and what's best for our community, I, I think it's about time we met, we met Harry as well. And, learn a bit more about Harry and his future plans. Uh, so uh, thanks again for joining us today, Harry. Uh, I know you're super busy, but uh, I'm really excited for the community to get to know you and the incredible work you're doing at Oasis. So I'm going to start <laughs> you off with an easy question. Um, on a really high level, how does your previous experience look and what was it that caught your attention uh, about Oasis? I've been a lifelong tinker and developer with a, an interest in sort of cryptography, distributed systems, and in security and privacy. So I'm uh, always looking at like the what are the new upcoming frontiers and uh, zk snarks and uh, trusted execution are just some of those. But uh, the reason I'm sort of interested in Oasis and it, it caught my eye was because uh, I've deep dived into literally hundreds of different blockchain projects, uh, but. With Oasis, it's sort of a, a very well-engineered base, uh, and it's trying to solve in a very practical way uh, what's the next incremental step that's at the edge of this this frontier. So I think, in short, you know, confidential EVM is a maze balls, and it's severely overlooked. Uh, I, I tend to agree with you here, and uh, I get your excitement about Oasis, and that's because we have the most brilliant engineers in Web three. Like, I really love our team, especially after getting the chance to meet everyone in Bled. And yeah, I can say that sounds really incredible. I'm glad that all of this brought you here today with us. Um, and um, this is also due to the fact that the, the following period will be a really busy one. And I'm referring to the upcoming ECC event we'll host in Paris and the upcoming hackathon we're going to be launching. Uh, which are both uh, targeted to emphasize uh, the true potential of Sapphire and OPL. Um, and I can see for a fact that these are two of our main priority priorities right now. Um, could you tell us a bit more about them? Like, uh, how, how are we going to surprise our community and maybe even challenge the developers? I'm sorry, I think I'll, I'll start and say that we've, we're definitely starting the hackathon uh, in Paris uh, on the 19th. Uh, that we launched with uh, $30,000 worth of prizes across four different categories. And then for everyone who, who uh, wins a prize, there's going to be follow-on grants and lots of support available, uh, not just for the, the winners, but 
everybody who participates is welcome to see if their ideas filter up. Um, and whether you're with us in Paris or hacking at home, there'll be a, a hands-on workshop for Sapphire and OPL that will contain everything you need to get started, such as uh, code samples, ideas, and of course, security awareness. And we're going to be here to help on Discord. Um, but because confidential EVM and even confidential blockchains as a whole are still a relatively new concept, there are a lot of challenges, uh, especially when it comes to adding privacy or, you know, to your idea or migrating a, a DAP from another chain. But privacy isn't everything, and it can be risky business sometimes. So an area we're exploring is uh, that when contracts can have their own secrets, it means that smart contracts can be smarter. So with the autonomy across multiple chains and doing stuff that's just not possible on Ethereum right now, but Sapphire is perfectly suited to do that. Uh, and I have some fun surprises that are almost ready, but uh, you have to wait another couple of weeks for that. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is sorry, really sorry. Yeah, yeah can the, you I, find I, it out in Paris? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know that Harry always has something up his sleeve, and mm -hmm. I know you're working twenty four seven to to deliver the best. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I know everyone on our team is pushing really hard to have everything in place and uh, ready to be used by our community. Um, but what I wanted to ask you, like in terms of demos that will be presented during our event at ECC, uh, can you tell us what uh, those will, will entitle? Sure. So in Paris, we're going to be showing you updates to the Block Explorer and uh, a new data indexing API called Nexus. Uh, that should hopefully give you more insight about everything on the consensus layer, Sapphire, Emerald, and Cypher, in, so all in one place. So. Just for reference, uh, at the moment we're using Block Scout, and hopefully this will allow us to roll out features a little bit quicker, uh, get some improvements from you guys, and and uh, make something that's better suited for for our specific products. Uh, we're also going to be demoing the Oasis Safe Web Wallet for Sapphire, which brings the popular and robust multi-sig Gnosis Safe to Oasis. Uh, and we'll also be asking for your votes uh, during and after the event on a whole range of things using our own uh, Oasis voting DAP running natively on Sapphire. Mm, this, these are all exciting products, and uh, I myself had a, a chance to get a sneak peek at uh, the new Explorer, and I absolutely love it. Like uh, the interface is amazing, and the ability to index uh, the, both the consensus and uh, the paradigms, like have everything in one place, is, is truly amazing. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, the the event day will be packed with with a lot of information, especially for those uh, who are interested in participating in the hackathon. And um, since we're on the subject, um, what would you expect or what would you like to see being explored? Are, like, are there any particular cases, use cases uh, that you're curious about being showcased? I, I think it's easier if I start with a bit of background. Uh, so yeah, over the past five years, there have been uh, so more and more chains and tokens and bridges and token bridges and bridge tokens, and they've all just uh, appeared and come out of nowhere. And sometimes you, you end up needing several wallets and gas money on different networks just to get anything, anything done. Uh, and of course, all the data is public. So you need to ignore those phishing transactions, which is really annoying, uh, and be careful with the token allowances. Otherwise, you're going to end up getting wrecked, which nobody likes. Uh, but so realistically, like we as in everybody in Web3 have uh, sort of common problems. Uh, like dApps have a much higher barrier to adoption than just buying a pizza. Uh, and liquidity and user bases are sort of fracturing and becoming tribal, and it's us versus them. Uh, and this can be really daunting for people who are new to Web3. So, for example, uh, which of the 50 flavors of dollar do I need? On which chain? Like, how do I convert what I have? How do I pay gas for that? Uh, these are the kinds of questions that new users are facing. And even for experienced people like me, it's just a constant daily battle to figure out what's going on. Um, but for now, uh, sort of, uh, with Sapphire, uh, your users will be able to have privacy, and the contracts can also have secrets. And with Sapphire, you can develop dApps using our special Solidity precompiles. That includes everything from uh, random numbers to encryption to uh, verifying EDDSA pass keys or even doing Ethereum Bitcoin compatible signing. So I think there's a lot of opportunity not just surprise us with use cases or if you just want to make some cool games that use a bit of privacy or, or uh, something like that, that's also cool. 
but there are also these sort of much bigger problems that we all have. And I think Sapphire is in a good position to be able to make some elegant solutions for that, that, uh, that can benefit not just Sapphire, but the, the whole Ethereum and EVM compatible community. Yeah, but honestly, Sapphire has, has so many use cases and uh, opportunities to be had. I am really excited about the hackathon, and I am sure it will be a great hackathon. Uh, and I can't wait to see the, the developers in our community. Um, uh, yeah, I, well, I think this was a very interesting conversation, and we, we've shed a light on a, on a lot of subjects. Uh, and I'm, I'm also very happy that we're able to do this for our community on a, on a regular basis. Um, but if you're in Paris during ECC, like make sure you pop up to our side event on the 19th. Uh, you can find details about it here on Discord, uh, in the event section, on our website, on the community card. Like we have it all over the place, Reddit, the forums. Um, and don't know if you noticed, but uh, we have a very exciting contest uh, called Oasis Odyssey Rise to the Challenge happening now. Um, which is basically a, a loyalty program for our community. Um, and I like to, to give a bit more context on that because um, that's what we care about most, like bringing transparency into our community and uh, supporting uh, the projects in our ecosystem and supporting the, the users, um, making sure we're able to give them the opportunity to to give fed feedback, which is uh, taken into consideration. And um, this competition will uh, be one of the, the initiatives we're, we're doing at the moment, uh, because the prizes consist in soul bound tokens, um, which are bound to your wallet. They're, they're not tradable like, uh, like NFTs. Uh, and with these soul bound tokens, you'll be able to participate in different uh, activities on the network, like uh, voting for community grants uh, in the future, maybe early access to our products, being able to to give feedback to our products, um, exclusive NFT collections in the future. Like who who knows what the future holds? Uh, but I think it's a it's a very big opportunity for our community, and I, I urge you all to to participate in the contest. Uh, this will be an ongoing contest, so it will reset every month. So uh, there's an opportunity for everyone to um, to participate in that, uh, and you can again you can find out more details about it in our announcements channel uh, on our website blog. We have a blog article about it that contains all the instructions and everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to promote it too much <laughs> and digress. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think we're done for the day. And again, a big thank you to our guests for joining us. And I guess. Uh, I'll see everyone else on our next community call, uh, which we'll announce, of course, in on Discord. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Minya. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you as well. And I, I'm in Discord, so if you've got any technical questions, just uh, drop me a shout, and I'll try to get back to you with uh, some good answers. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> you rock. Bye, everyone. <laughs>